let us look at next example which is another application of a general form of equation of a line. The example uh, is stated in the form of a question that is if I have been given two lines a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is equal to 0, a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0, b 1 and b 2 not equal to 0. What does mean? What does this mean? That means the lines are non-vertical. Okay. B1 and B2 not equal to 0 means lines are not vertical. You can verify for yourself. Now, two such lines are parallel if A1 B2 is equal to A2 B1 and perpendicular if A1 A2 plus B1 B2 is equal to 0. This is an interesting application of general form of equation of line and uh, if you rec if you recollect we have derived some characterization of line in terms of slope so let us uh, let us try to see this problem so let me first identify if i want to characterize parallel and perpendicular lines what should i do what is a parallel line how will i identify a parallel line when i will have their slopes to be equal and how will I identify a perpendicular line when the product of the slopes of the two lines is minus 1. So, if you remember this then the job reduces to finding the slopes of the two lines. Can I find the slope of these lines? Let us say let us first consider this line a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is equal to 0. You can you should be immediately able to identify this with a slope line form, slope point form, which is y is equal to mx plus c. So, if I want to adjust this equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, then what should I do? I should divide because b1 is non-zero, I can divide throughout by b1 and shift this coordinate of y to the other uh, right hand side of the uh, right hand side of the equation. So, I will get y is equal to minus a 1 upon b 1 minus c 1 upon b 1. So, what is a slope minus a 1 upon b 1? A similar trick you can apply here and therefore, you will get m 2 is equal to minus a 2 upon b 2. So, using slope intercept form you have got m 1 is equal to minus a 1 upon b 1 and m 2 is equal to minus a 2 upon b 2. Now, let us recollect the famous fact because b 1 and b 2 are not equal to 0, we are not considering vertical lines. So, two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal. So, what you will do? You will just put m 1 is equal to m 2 because you have been given that the lines are parallel. So, if you put m 1 is equal to m 2, you minus sign will cancel each, uh, each other a 1 by b 1 is equal to a 2 by b 2 multiply both sides by b 1 b 2, b 1 b 2 are non-zero. So, multiply both sides by b 1 b 2, you will get a 1 b 2 is equal to a 2 b 1. Therefore, the lines are parallel then a 1 b 2 is equal to a 2 b 1. In a similar manner, we also know something about perpendicular lines that the product of their slopes is minus 1 if the lines are perpendicular. So, it just multiply m 1 m 2 and equate it to minus 1, minus sign will cancel each other. So, you will get a 1 by b 1 into a 2 by b 2 is equal to minus 1. So, take the denominator on the right hand side that is b 1 b 2. So, a 1 a 2 is equal to minus b 1 b 2 which essentially means a 1 a 2 plus b 1 b 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have proved the result. So, now what we have done right now is we have related our result about the characterization of perpendicular and parallel lines via slope to a general form of equation and this is the new condition that we are coming up with. If the lines are parallel and you have been given two, no, two non-vertical lines and their general forms, then you just need to check that a 1 b 2 is equal to a 2 b 1 and uh, if for the lines to be parallel and a 1 a 2 plus b 1 b 2 is equal to 0 for the lines to be perpendicular. This, is, this you can consider as another characterization of parallel and perpendicular lines using 
जनरल फॉर्म जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन्स